I have those discussions at the moment to probably come up with an MSP type of provider. So yeah, another thing I question is I would like the team IT to be there and because that's where the most of the work would be, just the domestic customers. I always tell this joke like if the domestic customers keep coming back to you, that means something wrong with the service you provide. Because <laughs> So thank you for joining us today. Um Yasi from Jim's IT and you're based in Seaton. So how long have you been with Jim's IT for, Yasi? Five months for tomorrow. And what were you doing prior to Jim's IT? Uh look, IT was my industry. I studied I worked in IT for companies, MSP companies, computer repair companies. So IT was my field and I also always wanted to start up my own business. I guess I have a passion for IT and I did a little bit of research uh, during five trials and I was looking about four different companies. Jim's IT came up. I was initially looking for Jim's cleaning and then uh, when I look at the portfolio, but the total if I go with Jim's cleaning, I have to give up my full-time job, obviously my IT and uh, I'll be completely changing my career to a different thing. Mm. And yeah, and then I was discussing with my wife as well and I said, you know, that's not the thing for me. And then I started doing a little bit of more research and then obviously I found out in has IT. And there you go. And then I made an inquiry. Tony uh, was in touch with me straight away, pretty much within like five minutes of the inquiry. And I was impressed at the start and then he explained pretty well went on a training and here i am doing the business how have you found running the business how have you found it so far oh well i have no word to actually explain how well it has worked for me it's it's a really i think the best decision i kind of made in my whole life oh wow yeah yeah do you want to talk about how it's worked for you then? Is it just that you enjoy, you like the freedom of working for yourself or what, what's what been the aspect for you that's led you to say that? Like what what, what do you like about it the most? Yeah, the flexibility and uh, probably work on my own terms and also you get a really good team that you know that you're always, always ready to support you, especially Tony, you always check in with me probably once a week, have a chat uh, uh, follow up with me how am I going you also have some great I- ideas that he always wants the franchises to develop from last month to this month to so and so forth I really appreciate what he was doing I, I, I actually told him about this few times to him as well those are the main things it really encourages me to keep doing the business and uh, yeah. well it's great to hear about Tony That's, that's he's a good fellow and that's good to hear and I was going to say how does what sort of stuff then, then have you developed then maybe month for month in your business? Is it more services? Is it financial targets? Or when you say development every month, like what sort of mm. things is that? What does that exactly mean? Well, look, uh, when I started in the training, everybody talks about pay for work guarantee. Yep. And I was like, uh, okay, we, I'm only going to earn about $5,000 a month. Uh, that, that's what's my initial target. The first, uh, the November was, quiet because obviously I was getting a hang of it of the business. I started in November so the December was a bit quieter because the Christmas break came through and everything and I was like I was scratching my head I'm not getting anything. Start of January all of my targets blew out of into proportions. Financially, the service, everything. So probably my finance probably twice or thrice my my as I anticipated. That's great. Uh, yeah. And uh, and also the service, and I was started getting a lot of referrals from the customers I was doing. I have over 40 or 45, five star reviews yep. from the customers in the system, and I have over, around nearly 30 reviews in Google, so everything started happening. And I was so excited about everything, and I talked about with Tony, how, how would I expand my business now, and so I'm in the middle of that discussion at the moment. That's great. Well done. And you got a perfect five star rating. I think it's, I'm looking on the system right now, it's 44 ratings at an average of five stars. So well done on that. That's on the gym surveys. And you mentioned the Google reviews, which is separate as well. So it's more than 70 reviews in yeah. total already, which is fantastic. So well done on that. I was going to say then, in your business, what, what services have you been doing for customers? So Gyms IT might not be something that comes to customers, first of all, when they think about gyms. 
So do you want to outline for people with the services with IT? Can you just outline what stuff have you been doing for customers? What thing are customers needing help with? What do you find yourself in demand doing? Look, I haven't restricted myself not doing anything, pretty much. So whatever the services that Jim's IT provide on the website or even on the like categories and so on and so forth, I have been doing pretty much everything. But the cybersecurity, the viruses, software, if you're setting up devices, has been quite popular for the last few months. I have also been doing hardware because I'm kind of pretty good at it. And also I am kind of studied uh, recently, followed a few different courses with cybersecurity as well. So I'm kind of up to date with that. So I haven't restricted myself with anything or anything and everything that Jim Sarty provide me with a job seat, I have I have pretty much done yep. all of that. Unless the customer obviously doesn't meet with our budget or anything like that. The, those are the only occasions that I had to let go the customer. Yep. Apart from that, I have pretty much fulfilled all of the needs that I got. So I was gonna I was just gonna say, are you doing like um like just the domestic people? Do you do small businesses or are you doing stuff where you come in regularly for cust- for companies? Do you want to just talk about the mm. like the type of people that are using you? Is it just is it a mixture of all three, or is it more your small businesses engage you to come in every month, or do you want to talk a bit a bit about that? Yeah, look, most of the customers are domestic. Eighty percent of the customers are domestic at the moment. That's where the where the most of the leads are generating. But I also have a few small businesses customers in my portfolio, so they generally come regularly, month to month or sometimes uh, ad hoc occasions. But if I divide the customer, the 80% would be domestic at the moment, yes. And yeah, and obviously that's something you want to expand on is maybe doing the small businesses, maybe those bigger regular interval commercial mm-hmm. sort of stuff if you can. Yeah, that that is the discussion we have with, uh, we, I'm currently here with uh, Tony as well. Like, I also told him about it that I mean, Jim's ID as a brand should look, to uh, grow into businesses and then uh, probably taking on a few other small businesses plans as well. Yeah, because the way I see it is like a small business or a medium to small business can, rather than having a full-time staff do their IT, they could have a really personalized service by having Jim's IT franchise available at all times and obviously you would charge Mm. depending on how much Mm. work you do. I think as a cost saving for business, it's Mm. far better to have someone like you involved and you're going to give that personal service as opposed to maybe some other sort of maybe MSP where it might not be as personal or a full-time staff. Is that where you sort of want to go or is that what you think Jim's IT can really help in the market? Absolutely. Yeah, I actually have, uh, I actually have two current discussions with small businesses like the backhand chain, for example, and few other customers as well. I have those discussions at the moment to probably come up with an MSP type of provider. So yeah, answering your question is I would like the Jim's IT to be there. And because that's where the most of the work would be, yeah. just the domestic customers. I always tell this joke, like, if the domestic customers keep coming back to you, that means something wrong with the service you provided. Because that's logistics true. IT <laughs> should be fixed. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, but the uh, um, business customers, we always can have oh, there's always multiple some- number of cookies. Oh, absolutely. There's something going wrong. Like obviously head office here, we have a really big IT spend and stuff and it's just all day there's something going wrong. So it's just, you can have the, yeah. yeah, it's just the way it is now. There's there's so many things that are happening and moving and you've got to have that support, whether you're a small business or a larger business or a domestic person. You want to have that person that you can go to. And I think people like you and Jim's IT, the franchisees is such a really good option for people because it's cost affordable, but also you, you, know, you get access to a really high level talent in yourself and the expertise that you guys provide at a really good price. I think something that more people need to know about. And I was going to say as well, what are then domestically, like is it, as you said, de- device setups, antivirus, cybersecurity stuff, what are you doing for those domestic customers? Yeah, most of the same. Most of the customers uh, need help with like setting up a new devices. It can be a brand new uh, laptop, desktop, printer, the same as that. And then, then they want the recommendations and the help with installing software such as antivirus, office, and so on and so forth. And then obviously, then after that, it comes to hardware kind of thing. It's hardware failures, upgrading hardware, changing hardware, so on and so forth. And then at last, it, it could, could be something 
simple as setting up their phone, for example, or helping with their home network <clears throat> and yeah. stuff like that. So it 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 mix of mix and match of all of the uh, jobs. But always, what I how I do it is if I go for a simple job, I always try and make upsell and find something that I can uh, help them with a, a different area like if they wanted to help me with the upgrading their hardware on the PC I always look at the, how their network is set up and always suggest uh, improvements that they can do uh, by doing that I have been very successful uh, upselling the, uh, the work that I'm doing yeah I don't look at the job as a single work and then I do and get out I always talk to the customer they always check up with them even after I do the job after five days or so I'll send a text message when asking is everything okay and is there anything I can do to help probably seven out of ten the customer always come back with another job after I follow up so right it, it works really well and I was going to say as well from, from your perspective like with um, domestic people always go my computer's running slow or what can they do from a hardware point of view to to improve improve the speed? Is it just what would you recommend, or what are the things you find yourself from customers who come with that sort of common sort of thing? Say my computer's running slow. What mm-hmm. do you, what from a hardware perspective? What are the things you look at, or what do you advise them to do? For any customers that we serve, we give them a full health report on the device. Anything that we hardware kind of it, software kind of it, we'll we'll look at all of the hardware side of it and software side of it, and it, are they all up to date? So we we do a kind of full health report and we give them a health report and we in that report we recommend uh, what things need to be done and uh, out of those recommendations I tend to categorize them as uh, critical and important. So if if any recommendations fall under critical, the customer should act pretty quickly. So they have a clear, very clear view and we also give a fix price structure for repairing those recommendations. So the customer find uh, very helpful because they have a report in front of them which tells them what should happen to the computer and by doing that, what changes and the improvements they should see on the computer. That's a good That's a good offer for people to take up. And I was going to say as well, uh, what sort of what, what brands do you recommend to people? Like, what do you have a preferred brand, or is it just based on their needs? Or what do you sort of what's a good all rounder sort of PC for the um, average person at home that they should be looking at? Is there any um, RAM requirement, like size requirements, or what would you sort of recommend for that? Yeah, look, uh, there are three major brands I always recommend to people: HP, Dell, and Lenovo. But Dell stands out to me personally as as a better product. There are multiple reasons for it. Uh, the first thing is, is their customer service and the warranty that they'll provide and how you see the parts to come by. Uh, the parts are uh, pretty much available everywhere. The customer service is pretty good. You can probably, if the fault, if there's a faulty device, you can pretty much get it replaced within 48 hours or so. So given all of those reasons, I always tend to recommend those three devices and um, the brand. But there are there's hundreds of brands you can go by, but we'll try to stick to what we know because we person, I mean, I have personally used all of them and dealt with their customer service, warranty service, and you know how easy and hard to deal with. And given all of those uh, recommendations, I leave all of the decisions up to the customer to make what the brand or whatever the things they want to buy. That's uh, a good. We we have Dell actually at gyms, so um, our guys we've had Dell for Dell for years, and they've always been really good to us. So I actually bought a I actually bought a Dell laptop. I was, I was always a Mac person, but then I went to Dell just because it was cheaper and the performance was pretty much just the same, but a lot less for a lot less than what the Mac would have cost. But um, that's a good brand. Yeah, just be careful, Dell. You might uh, anger some MacBook users. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't mind, I don't mind either. I'm not one or the other. But yes, yes, you are the one or the other. But um, I don't mind yeah. a bit of. I'm a bit between both. I've got an iPhone, but I use a Dell laptop at home and stuff. So I'm not, I'm not sold on one way. I've got a custom PC too, which I know that you guys can do as well. You can do a custom PC build if mm-hmm. someone wants wants a full setup, which is quite popular now. I'm mm-hmm. going to be gaming PC or just some sort of you know mm-hmm. nice, cool looking workstation or something. You guys can do that as well. Absolutely, that's what uh, I I kind of I have done probably three or four jobs 
Uh, so by building the custom pieces for the customers, it's given the it it it's good in a way because all of the parts and everything comes with a different warranty schemes yeah. and stuff like that. So the customer has a piece of mind that if something fails, they just got to change one part and one part only. And uh, and also it gives the freedom for the customer to fully customize the PC, the, however they they want it to be, rather than you go to uh, a manufacturer who has a set device to buy, a, he or she is locked into the specifications the manufacturer has put it in. So he, he, the, the customer has no say on that. Uh, if they are to custom build it, it's going to be quite expensive. But if you buy the parts and build it to yourself or get some, board, some professional to build it, this gives the peace of mind and the freedom to build that device from scratch. Yeah. It's becoming a lot more and more popular. I think people on YouTube especially love seeing the custom PC builds. And I think, um, you know, if you if you want something that performs well for, for a pretty reasonable price, you know, custom PC builds the way to go. So with the ones that you've built for people, were they gaming sort of spec PCs or were they video editing? Mm-hmm. What sort of what, what sort of PCs were they? Yeah, all of them were gaming PCs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gaming PCs are getting quite popular. The gaming market is really booming at the moment. It's, and we get quite a bit, I mean, I got quite a bit of inquiries repairing gaming PCs as well. So it's pretty handy and satisfying thing to do to build a PC from scratch. Absolutely. No, it's <laughs> very cool. And, and what, what do you normally recommend for this? Do you recommend Ryzen, the AMD Ryzen, or do you recommend the, the Intel um, In- CPU? Intel without a doubt. Intel, okay. Why is that? <laughs> um, what, one thing, uh, it's known for the brand. Yep. Been there for a long, long, long time. And um, oh, I and also my personal preference. I love it. It's it's it's. I don't know for one or many reasons it works better, but it's a lot dearer than AMD. Ah, okay. There you go. Yeah. But um, you know the custom PC builds. I know um, there's a lot of franchisee who are gamers and stuff as well. And there's just in general now, there's a lot more people playing games. But I think those custom PC builds, not only for games, but obviously for work, video editing, these sorts of things. Um, they're such a good thing to get done and I think it's going to last you a lot longer than if you maybe got off an off-the-shelf stock standard you know tower or something like that mm, yeah now with um with you with Jim's IT um what's you use the service difference from what you can understand so wh- why did you why do you get so many good surveys and referrals and maybe if you know a little bit about competition and stuff what are some maybe difference between someone using a Jim's IT franchisee like yourself and maybe another option from what you know yeah, look, uh, how would uh, Jim's IT stand out is that um, when, even before I wanted to buy the franchise, I actually went uh, on the website top to bottom. I read pretty much every single thing and understood how the business is a layout for the customer. Uh, the one thing we stand out in the market is that we don't charge any service call out fees. I have worked in a lot of other uh, big companies. I don't want to mention any names here, but uh, they all... Uh, charge on this call out fee. Some pretty much big as hundred dollars to just to step on the door. If you say hi, the hi to the customer, that's hundred dollars, regardless if you fix the problem or not. But it shouldn't be like that. If you can't fix it, and if it's not customer's fault, customer shouldn't be charged for it. And uh, so that that's something you stand out in the market. And also, obviously, Jim itself has a really good reputation for pretty much anything he does. That's probably the main two reasons what I believe Team IT stands out uh, in the market. And also we are very competitive with the, our pricing structure as well. And all of our work is guaranteed and warranted. Anything happens, yeah. The customer has peace of mind. If something goes wrong with what we do. It's all covered under insurance. It's all covered under a warranty. So it will be repaired or replaced for free of charge. That's really it's a really important point, and um, I think people we we need to we need to put that out there a bit more. But um, yeah, if something goes wrong, you, as you said, you have got the the work guarantee of gyms, you've got the warranty, mm. um, you, and no, if someone goes, you can't go missing because if someone goes missing, you know, gym gets involved, and mm. and then that that's what happens. Whereas if independent businesses or even other businesses where they might be just a big corporation, you're not going to have that sort of backup or service. And I think it's really really important for people to know when you use the gyms franchisees that you have that assurance that if something does happen we will sort it out and it's always the case 
Mm. Yeah. But not. But doesn't affect you because you've got a perfect five star rating. So yeah, you, 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 you don't. Have to, no one has to worry about that after they use you. But I was going to say as well. Um, is there anything else you want to say maybe about the division uh, before we finish up today? Is there anything at all? Uh, look, uh, I look. I wanted to tell anybody that who's uh, looking for a franchise or opportunity for a bit new business opportunity who has a IT or a computer repair experience. Look, come and join with us. It's a great team to have. We have a. Uh, a lot of franchises who are willing to help with the new starters and uh, so on and so forth. We have a franchises who specialize in key different areas such as networking, hardware, motherboard, you name it. So we have franchises who are kind of specialized in those areas. So if you need help, if you start, uh, there are always help. So that's why the gym society would be a really good place to start your business because uh, as I said, I have worked with three other different companies. You don't have that support. Even if you are an employer, once you're doing a job out of business hours, you are on your own. Mm-hmm. So if you get stuck, you'll get help tomorrow <laughs> or even day after. Okay, but gym site is completely different. We have chat services. We have all of the other ones. The franchise, so Tony is always available on the phone to support you and he'll guide you in the right path. So we'll look. The, the, I can go and go on and on and tell uh, all of the things for hours, but I just wanted to tell anybody who's looking for a new opportunity, come and join with us. You'll love it. Well, it's great to hear that, and it's great to hear that you went with your passion because I know at training, Jim says you should pick what you're good at doing, and you said you'll think mm-hmm. about cleaning, but then obviously you got all this IT experience and stuff, and I'm glad that you went with the um what you were passionate mm-hmm. about or what you were interested in doing because sometimes people make that mistake when they come to gyms. They try and look at, well, what can I make the most money with or they might you know whatever, whatever their reasons are and then mm-hmm. might be passionate about something else so it's glad to see uh, that you chose the one that you're passionate about and the great thing about gyms i'd say is it's it's got a really good culture i think i've met a few franchisees like yourself and adam and a few other guys and the, the amount of um sharing and the amount of um help that you guys provide each other is really really good um it's a really good really good tight-knit group and it's good to see the brand building and hopefully get more and more of those ms msp jobs and more people start learning about what you guys do for all the hard work you're doing on the ground with um, servicing and providing a great service to all customers as well. So, Yasi, thank you very much for your time. I'm very glad because I, I do remember you, remember you from training. You would have come through training last October-ish maybe, I think. Yeah, yeah. so it's great to, great, great to catch up with you around six months, five months into your business because um, first year is always the toughest. But it's glad, I'm glad to hear that you passed revenue goals and, and you're happy with everything. That, that's the main thing that's most important to us. So, Thank you very much today for joining us on the Gyms Podcast. We appreciate your time. Thanks, Earl. Yeah, thanks for your time too. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you for listening to the episode of the Gyms Podcast. If you want to learn more about the Gyms Group, head to gyms.net or call us on 131 546 Australia or 0800 454 654 New Zealand. And if you did like the episode as well, please make sure you leave a review or a comment or a thumbs up or a comment on the video as well. We appreciate your support. And until next episode, we hope you have a great week.